spondylolisthesis. Spondylolisthesis. <laughs> Spondylolisthesis. We're going to talk today a little bit about spondylolisthesis, uh, which is a very uh, kind of a tongue twister, uh, difficult to say, difficult to spell. Uh, but basically what this is, is a word that uh, we use to uh, define when a bone in your uh, lumbar spine, typically, uh, when one of the vertebra is shifted a little bit forward relative to uh, the vertebra below it. Um, most commonly, this will happen at the L4-5 level. Um, and some people can have it at the L5-S1 level as well. Uh, but essentially, um, usually through just kind of normal uh, degenerative forces, wear and tear, aging types of processes, um, the, uh, the vertebrae will start to shift a little bit forward relative to the one below it. And this can cause back pain uh, and can also cause uh, leg pain or uh, what we call uh, neurogenic claudication or where the nerves get pinched and uh, you can feel that in terms of pain in your, in your buttocks or pain in your legs with walking. Uh, so any of those types of symptoms can be associated with spondylolisthesis. Luckily, there's a lot of good treatments for it. Um, well, the good news is, is that a lot of times this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have surgery or that you need surgery. Um, again, it depends upon how bad the symptoms are, how long they've been going on, um, but there are non-operative options for this, initially starting with physical therapy to help strengthening up the supporting muscles for the spine, um, and then including medications potentially, as well as injections. Uh, however, if your symptoms do not improve uh, with those uh, different treatment options and they are continuing to affect you know, how you do your daily activities, whether it be, you know, limiting you from doing the things that you like to do or having pain with a lot of these things, then surgery can be an option. Um, if the spondylolisthesis is one that is mobile, meaning that depending on your position, the bone will shift forwards and backwards, a lot of times that would require a, a fusion operation to stabilize uh, that segment. Um, if the spondylolisthesis is not mobile, uh, then there is uh, the option potentially for uh, a more limited, uh, uh, more minimally invasive type of operation to just decompress uh, the spine uh, and the nerves. But again, this is a very individualized type of treatment and, and would have to be uh, focused on your particular problem and your particular imaging. Um, but in general, um, if the spondylolisthesis is causing pain that's just not getting better uh, with a lot of our non-operative treatments, then surgery uh, has a very, very good success rate uh, of treating uh, these types of problems. If you like this or have questions, please leave uh, comments below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and uh, look forward to seeing uh, more videos and content like this to help you guys out with any questions and concerns regarding other spine problems.